Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a hair care video. Um, I'm going to show you all the products I use to keep my hair healthy and long and thick. I do have really long thick hair. Let me see if I can show you now. It's really long. Like, it's even longer than that. And I have really thick hair and it is, it is in good condition. And I'm going to show you all the tips and tricks I use to keep it like that. Um, if you really want to grow your hair and stuff. So I think I should start off by saying why my hair is so healthy and thick. Number one is because, and I know a lot of people are going to think I'm lying, but I'm not lying, but I've never dyed my hair. This is my natural hair colour. I know people in work are always like, you've never dyed your hair. So why is there blonde in your hair? And I'm like, I don't know, okay? That's just... I'm half brunette, half blonde, I don't know. I was so funny because I was born with like loads and loads of thick black, jet black hair. Um, but yeah, my mom had the same natural hair colour when she was younger. She dyes it blonde or she bleaches it. But yeah, so if you have never dyed your hair and you've no interest, do not do it. Like, fair enough if you dye your hair already, that's fine. But if you haven't dyed your hair yet, leave it the way it is because it makes such a difference i feel like that's the number one reason why my hair is in such good condition is because i've never dyed it um and it, it does it makes a huge difference so even if you do dye it maybe try not dye it as often especially if you just dye it dark or whatever you get longer out of it. obviously if you dye blonde your roots show a lot quicker and um, try not get bleach in your hair bleach is so bad like my sister got bleach and half her hair fell out. And my mom has really thick, thick hair like me. And she's been bleaching it since like 30 years ago. And her hair is still really thick. And it's actually in quite good condition considering. But it depends on what kind of hair you have. So number one, if you haven't dyed your hair and you're thinking about it, maybe reconsider because it's not worth it in the end when your hair is kind of unhealthy and damaged. So... Yeah, the second reason is because I don't actually do that much to it. Like, I straighten it maybe. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Like, I could go a week or two out doing anything to my hair. I used to, when I was um, 13, 14, 15, um, even actually 16 and stuff, I used to straighten my hair or curl it all the time. Like, I never wore my natural hair. It was either straightened or it was curled. Um, sometimes to give it a break, I would just put in plaits, sleep on it, and the next day be wavy. Um, but yeah, now my hair was still in good condition. I was lucky that even with all the heat damage, my hair still stayed quite healthy and thick and long. But um, the last maybe two years, I just... Most of my videos, if you look at them, that's my natural hair. Like, it has... I have all kind of waves at the back, but I have no waves at the front. But I still have like a little kind of, not wave to it, but it's not dead, dead straight either. But it's still a bit frizzy. Like I don't have the nicest natural hair that people are like, oh my God, like it looks like you straightened your hair. It looks like you curled your hair. Like it's just like eh, in the middle. But I've learned to kind of love it. Um, for a long time I didn't. Like I'd let it dry and then straight away do something for, to it. But yeah, try leave your hair natural as much as you can. Or even, that's another thing, don't wear it up too much either because it does break your hair, especially if you wear it tight. But um, if you don't want to wear it up and you don't want to do anything to it, try leave it natural. I find it helps so much my hair. Definitely since I've stopped straightening it as much as stuff, my hair is definitely, I find it's actually gotten a bit thicker. And it's a lot more healthy. It looks a lot more kind of shiny. Shiny. I don't really have shiny hair. But as shiny as it's going to be for me. So yeah. There are the number two tips I can give you. I'll show you the products I use. Good products. But that's like the easiest way. What I find to do is. And I know when I went travelling last time. And I'm going travelling again. Actually when this video is up. I will be in the middle of travelling. I didn't do anything to my hair for a month nothing and my hair was so thick and nice when I came back oh my god honestly it was it was in such good condition so that's where it kind of stemmed from that I was like no I'm going to stop doing stuff to my hair because I really love the way my hair is now 
So what I used to do was I'd wear French plaits during the day and then at night time if we're going out for dinner or whatever, I just take out my hair be so wavy. Um, and people are like, oh my God, what did you do to your hair? It's gorgeous. And it's like, I literally put it in plaits last night, wet and it dries really wavy and that's no heat damage at all. If you want to put a bit of hairspray in it, do. Otherwise, just leave it and it's real beachy and it's just gorgeous. Um, so yeah, that's a little tip I do most of the time if I want to look kind of put together but I just don't want to do anything to my hair that's my best advice but anyway I'm going to go into the products I use so for shampoo I try to use a natural ingredient so this one is called natural world and it's a chaya seed oil um, and it's 95% natural ingredients I think this is about 10 euro you can get it in any of the shops and um, I don't love it Sorry, it's all wet from the shower. Um, I don't, like, it's nice. I feel like, yeah, my hair feels a bit better, but I feel like my hair gets a bit greasy quicker with this. I don't know, but I'm on the hunt for, like, I really want to try Briogeo. And um, that's the same. It's natural ingredients. There's no sulfates or parabens or anything in that or silicone or whatever. And it's the same with this one. So just try use a natural ingredient shampoo on your hair so it doesn't strip your hair. And another thing is washing your hair. I only wash my hair. Now, obviously, I wash myself <laughs> like every day or whatever. But my hair, I only wash once a week, literally once every seven days. And I used, to, I used to wash my hair for years, literally, again, up until about a year and a half, two years ago, I used to wash it every three days, which still wasn't, like, bad. But now I just wash it once every seven days, and my hair, again, I've noticed a difference. And it doesn't get as greasy as quick. It might get greasy after about five days now, but it was getting greasy after, like, two days when I used to wash it every three days. Um, dry shampoo is your best friend, literally. I go through so many bottles, like so many bottles. Like at the moment, I sold this off my sister, but it's, I just using my favorite is the Bastisse. I've tried so many dry shampoos. I don't like any other one, but this one, this is the only one that actually I put it in and it, like my hair feels and looks clean. Um, I've used other ones where after like, half an hour it's just gone back to normal same with baby powder don't think that works for me so i always have a bottle of this in hand um yeah so love dry shampoo get a natural shampoo this is just great for volume as well i have i feel like i don't have a lot of volume to my hair because it's so heavy so i just put this in rub it in and i feel like i have so much volume so for conditioner i just use it's called the weightless hydration coconut water these are about nine, 10 euro. Um, I just love coconut <laughs> and coconut's really good for your hair, coconut oil, and that's what this has in it. So I'm liking this conditioner so far, it makes my hair soft. If you need a mask, use an intensive mask. But as I said, my hair is not damaged, so I don't need a mask, a conditioner does me fine. But if my hair was damaged, like my mom uses the Redken shampoos. If you've colour in your hair, the Redken shampoos are so good. Um, her, it keeps her blonde so blonde and her hair so soft. And she loves the mask as well. She uses the, the blonde one. Oh, it's in like a gold bottle, but you can just get the purple one. That's just for colour, any colour. But um, yeah, I just love this conditioner. I think it is kind of important to use... Not that you have to, I'm just, like the L'Oreal ones and all are fine, but I think you do see a difference in your hair when you use like professional shampoos. Um, I know my mom does. I'm gonna start getting into them. I always use more of the expensive kind of shampoos. Like as I said, this one's 10 euro, my shampoo's 10 euro. I know it's not like 20 euro like the professional ones, but I think it depends on your hair, how damaged your hair is, what you're looking for. Um, but the Pureology ones, I've used them. They're quite good as well. Um, but yeah, the Redken ones, I've used the Redken ones just if there's nothing there and my mom has that one there. Obviously, I don't have colour in my hair, but yeah, it makes your hair really soft. But yeah, I like this one and you can get all different ones. You can get like Brazilian coconut, you can get almond and stuff like all different ones, but they're really nice and they smell really nice. 
I do not brush my hair in the shower because if you brush your hair when it's wet, it does break your hair. So I just wait till my hair dries. Um, I know some people are probably like, but I do because I find your hair, a lot of hair comes out when you brush it when it's wet and I don't want that. So I just wait till it's dry and then I brush it. Um, this stuff, this stuff's amazing. And this is Revlon Professional. So you get these in the hairdressers. Um, it's called Unique One. So this is the coconut one. You can get the red one and you can get a different one. The red one's the original. So I got this for my mom at Christmas. I've used it before. And this just has like 10 real benefits. It has repair for dry and damaged hair, shine and frizz control, heat protection, silkiness and smoothness, hair color protection, easier brushing and ironing, incredible detangling, long lasting hairstyle, split end prevention and adds body and I actually do when I use this my hair is so soft when I get out of the shower and it does I feel like it helps with like brushing it because I have the knottiest tangiest hair and any hairdresser will tell you that like I brush my hair and five minutes later it's so knotty like all at the back it gathers up in knots it does be so sore and I find this helps um, and it's a heat protectant, so I use this as my heat protectant. The only thing is it wastes a lot. Like we've, my mom's only been using it. I have one of these as well, but my mom's only been using it like since Christmas, like a month ago, and it's already halfway through. Cause you do spray a good bit on your hair, but they're only fifteen euro, and it's a Revlon Professional, so like it's it's good stuff. Um, but yeah, the red one if you take your hair is better. That's what my hairdresser told me. She said this one doesn't work as well as the red one, but this one's fine for thinner hair. Um, but I find it actually works in my hair, so I'm definitely gonna try the red one. I just love the smell of coconut, so I got the coconut one. Um, but yeah, this is good stuff. I think it's important to use a heat protectant in your hair before you do anything with it. And it's important to use something that makes it soft and adds benefits to your hair and protects it against the sun and stuff. So definitely check this one out. And then after I put that on my hair and it, my hair is damp, I use oil. This one's quite expensive. It's a good oil. It's the Kerastas. So you get these in hairdressers and it's the Elixir Ultimate. And I find this makes my hair so, so soft. Even like, it, that one makes it soft, but this one makes it like so soft and like silky. And it just feels so good. I think this could be like 30 something euro. Like, I'm pretty sure it's quite expensive. Um, but I think a good oil. The Moroccan oil as well. I have that as well. I have a little mini one. That's good as well. But I just love this oil. Obviously, like, you can use oils from, like, boots or whatever if you want. But I'm just telling you what works for my hair and how I keep it so healthy. I find it's like makeup or skincare. It's exactly like skincare. The more you spend on good stuff, the better your skin. And I find the same with hair. Like, the more expensive professional stuff you buy in the hairdressers it works better for your hair and um, but use whatever you have whatever works for you but this is what keeps my hair so healthy and in good condition and as i said i have such tangly hair so what i like to do is either use the tangle teaser or a soft brush like this brush my hair first so i get all the knots out because it doesn't pull out as much hair and it doesn't hurt half as much and then I'll go over it with like a proper brush, like this or whatever, whatever kind of paddle brush or whatever you have. Or the wet brush, if you have a wet brush, that's like the tangle teaser as well. But yeah, these are just so soft in your hair and they don't rip out your hair as easy. Whereas if I use that other brush, when I brush it, like so much hair comes out from my tangles. So yeah, I really like these brushes. Again, you can get these in boots or whatever, pharmacy or drugstore or whatever. Um, so yeah, they're my favourite brushes. So yeah, that is everything I use in my hair. I don't use too much, like I don't use too much sprays or too much product because at the end of the day that like gunks up in your hair um, and I don't want that. So I literally just use my shampoo, use my conditioner, use that Revlon spray, a little bit of oil and the end of my hair. I don't like to put in my roots and then I brush my hair and leave it. And then I mostly leave, leave it natural. So then if it just gets a bit greasy, I just put a bit of dry shampoo into it and it's good as new. And I promise you that will work wonders for your hair. Same with my sister. She used to dye it a lot and use a lot of heat on it. And now that she doesn't, 
her hair I swear has grown and thickened so so much she's such gorgeous hair now because she stopped dyeing it as much and putting heat in it so it does make such a difference that's probably the number one tip if you can take from this video please do don't do anything to your hair for two weeks and I bet you it will feel so much better and try only wash it once every four to seven days try it for a week or two and I promise you you will see such a difference such a difference and try use a nice oil or something in it but yeah that's everything I use in my hair that's how I keep my hair thick long and healthy so yeah let me know if you try out any of these products or if you've any tips for healthy hair that I haven't mentioned or don't know about please let me know and I will see you in the next video bye